well, sucks because apparently the thought that got interrupted by the kettle. I'm just not going to get it back right this second. Mm, so. Really suck at this. I guess let's just do chronological. <clears throat> I was born here in Pullman, Washington to Susan Hader and so and well Susan Gillespie and Sajad Ali Hader. My grandparents are Russell, William Henry Gillespie and Naoma Jenny Langhout Gillespie. And my dad's from Pakistan and he was my grandpa's student at the university. My grandpa was a professor at Washington State University in the biological sciences department. At some point after he had tenure, he did have a bunch of his research stolen. And so <clears throat> apparently, this is before I was born, the family lore goes that once that research got stolen, he was so pissed off that he just like spent his tenure doinking around and uh, scuba diving on the coast, on the university's budget and stuff like that. And I don't know what I think of that. I mean, technically, it, it's a crap thing to do. But having been here and had so much of my own research stolen, which you're like, how dare you do research? I know it's with these guys. You're not allowed to do research. You don't even, we've carefully prevented you from having any degrees except for your massage therapy license, twit. And then we put massage out of your reach and made that massage envy salon system. You're supposed to be dying. You're supposed to be killing yourself. Blah, blah, blah. So yeah, having had my own, and it's research on myself, so I really don't see why I'm not allowed to do it. And, and it's for my own personal medical health, because they're trying to tell me what their poison, and I share it. I mean, wouldn't now, because obviously whenever I share it with people, they come up with a way of going around it. But anyway, so having in my own research, so when I don't know, I guess I don't feel so bad about Gramps being around. On the WSU Dala scuba diving. So anyway, here I am. And I was born in 1968, <clears throat> and I have a feeling that I probably was the first mixed race baby born to Washington State University faculty family. And even though it was a minor family, and the child that it was born to was an adopted child brought from who knows where, somewhere back east. And the grandpa had been chased out of his back east family. I don't know what the Glaspies do back there. There's just some something or other. And then apparently Aunt Hazel was the first female head of the biology department at one of the at the university in New Jersey that starts with R, not Radcliffe, because at Rutgers. I'm pretty sure that it's Rutgers. They wanted it to be Radcliffe because Radcliffe is fancy, but Aunt Hazel wasn't fancy. So her name was Hazel Gillespie, and then my aunt, my grandpa's sister, so my great aunt, was over there on the East Coast as well, Frances Condon. She's in Connecticut. And her kid's name is Russell Condon. Very descending. So that's who we are. My sister's name is Amina Amat Hader. My brother is Anjan. I have some half sibs. One of them's in the Air Force and has some pretty fancy software, so probably you see me a lot on here, Molson. I'm Molson. Not that we ever met in person, but I do remember you finding me like that on the Facebook games, like that. And then I tried to find people on the Facebook games and like, you know, connect and. So obviously that's some kind of like tunneling technology that made it so that you could home in on all my signal and be able to see me in the Facebook game just like that. So that's who I am. And I think it caused a commotion at the university when I was born. Oh, and not only is the university, but I guess Whitman County is the center of the white Christian nation of America 
probably Fairfax County. Fairfax, Virginia is our is our sister city, and then something with Halifax, and then somewhere in the world is two more effects places. How do I know this? I don't really know it. I just have this feeling that there's two more places with facts as the last part of it. So Colfax, Fairfax, Halifax, and then two more faxes, maybe four more. And those are basically probably like the controlling counties of the world. Sounds like insane. It sounds like some weird... Da Vinci Code detective novel, but apparently the world's significantly weirder than I like. <clears throat> That's why I did drugs. <laughs> and you would too if you're a little kid and you were me. And I mean, I'm not saying that I'm asking God to try you out, but if you want to pass judgment on me, I dare you. I dare you right now to publicly request that God send you the same challenges as me and make you just as vulnerable as me because you can do so much of a better job and you'll show the world the way to do a better job. And so if you're not brave enough to do that, then probably you're not brave enough to live my life. So suck that up. Now I'm posting this. And I'm going to try and do something less rambly, more organized, but I'm just going to... When I can't get my things together, I'm going to go back to being effective. That cycle babble. And it's actually part of my homework for this week. Yay! Yay! We're using skills. So when when it's not effective to me to be tailing the chunks that I'm actually really apparently interested in trying to tell you guys, I'm just going to go back to the linear timeline. So that's the very beginning of my linear timeline. Before I was thought of, those were the people that were existing in the world. Ah, and my Pakistani grandpa. He wrote a triumph. Like, I'm just going to say, my foster, oh, and my foster mom. And her name's Margaret Corin. And her na original name was Matchet. And I guess that her dad did the, see, and it's like so karmic. It goes back to the 1800s. It's almost creepy. So her dad worked with that guy, that, um, the untouchables. And his like, name started with the A. And he died on, I think, April 19th. And he was like 49 or 50 or something like that and he caught a bunch of like mob people so and there was something with chemistry and so her dad's grandfather margaret's 85 so i mean that goes back ways what worked with that team for the fbi or whoever that was and so she was alive before i was born and and then weirdly before i ended up being her foster kid her husband who just recently died claimed that he had and then he was one of those people that mysteriously died people that start to tell me stuff mysteriously die um so he was telling me that he had my mom as a student in his lab because he said that he worked up at the same lab the same wilson hall that my grandpa worked at and that he worked in the labs as a lab he my grandpa was a professor and a scientist research scientist but dave corin just like um was a research assistant, that's what it was. And so then my mom was a research assistant's assistant, but not for Dave, but he said that she was in the lab and he said that she was really inappropriate. And the only thing that made me think that he might be telling the truth, because I've never heard this. I've never heard of my mom working in any of the science labs. As far as I knew, all she did was fine art and shoot. So yeah, but he seemed to have some kind of memory and we have kind of, a legend, a wondering, a this thing, a that thing in my family, like maybe we're biological experiments, which goes back to the whole vulnerability factor because my grandma's parents were actually Dutch immigrants. And so I've learned things about vulnerable people. That's why I wasn't so surprised to see that shooter. Like when I clicked and looked at his bio, I'm like, oh, adopted. Oh, this. Oh, that. You just can like check off the factors of... <sighs> And even here, the people that do this programming, this psychological programming, they kept going on about me. Tenant, officer, tenant, officer, tenant, 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 Chris, tenant, officer, tenant. And I'm just like, what? Do I know that officer from when I was a kid? What? And then, I think it was last summer, maybe it was the summer before, but I think it was last summer that, that Chris Tenant, the adopted son of officer tenant, shot or was involved in the shooting of another one of the families like Reeves and I think Reeves was a coach so the kid in the woods and a shooting and I was just like 
What is that? And I think it happened during a fire that was called the Moon Dance Fire because, and the smoke here was insane. And, and I was having these visions of like, and then someone else, and it was just like such a weird experience. And then the shooting from, from the Florida guy, I just tagged President Trump, who also thinks these shootings are, are weirdly set up. And, um, and the guy's adopted and he's from Long Island and that's another connection. And so I'm just like creeped out. Anyway, I'm posting this one right now.